Docket searching is another uh, area where I'd like to see some robotic activity. Uh, I search dockets a lot. I don't have a law degree, so I get really confused easily. I don't really know what I'm looking for sometimes because I don't know how to translate it into the legal verbiage that you need. So the New York Times has this AI glossary, and the URL is there in blue if you want to check it out. And they call machine learning systems that learn from data sets to perform and improve upon a specific task. It's the current area of AI experiencing the biggest research boom. So remembering what you do and trying to help you based off what you typically do. So I retrieve dockets a lot, and I always need the last amended complaint. The problem is sometimes the dockets are huge and the last amended complaint is way at the bottom and, you, and I don't know which number it would be because I don't know how many there are in total. So I'll just do a control find on the docket sheet for amended complaint and just keep paging through. So if like Bloomberg Law, which is what I usually use, if it was actually machine learning, you would think it could just have like a little clippy or some kind of little icon person saying, hey there, Amy, you usually want the last amended complaint. Here it is on the stocket. That's what my wish list for the robot at Bloomberg Law. Another thing with dockets is, I search for a lot of complaints, and the people that I work with will say, I want to search for all complaints where company X is the defendant and the case is about whatever. So that's fine, except they don't have a file of complaints. So first you have to get the dockets with your company as the defendant and then figure out if they seem relevant and then pull them up and go to the complaint. And again, I'm paging through to get to the final last amended complaint. So it would be nice if you could just say, in the complaints, which ones have company X as a defendant. If it's actually understanding what they're calling natural language processing, I would be able to just say that. Because they call that the discipline within AI that deals with written and spoken language. So it, it should be able to understand our language. You know, a layperson's language in, in legal research, like I oftentimes am looking for the motion to dismiss or the final opinion and or an order or settlement documents, but none of them are called that. It's not going to say this is a settlement document. It'll say something I don't really understand, and then I'm just sort of lost trying to figure this out. Another thing I do a lot is look for expert reports because the company that I work for uh, provides PhD economists to testify as experts at trials. So a lot of times we want to find the reports of our opposing expert in previous cases to see sort of how they work. But expert reports are never called that. <laughs> They're called like Exhibit 16 in some other document that has nothing to do with it at all. So I've actually a lot of times had to open 50 exhibits and look at them and see is that the expert's report because the keyword search sometimes just doesn't work properly to find the exhibits that have the expert reports. So I wish the robot there, if I could just say, where are the expert reports, it could find them.